Hi everyone, my name is Ann Granger and I'm an independent demonstrator from Dorchester, Ontario, Canada and I'm very excited to be with you today. Today I am sharing with you a project that I made you with the Cute Fruit stamp set. And you're probably wondering, but wait, I don't remember seeing that stamp set in the annual catalog. And you're right, this stamp set is actually part of our beginner brochure. This beginner brochure came out at the beginning of June and goes to the beginning of end of May. Oh, May 3, May 3rd, 2021. And it's designed for our beginner scrapbook, our beginner stampers. So this little catalog is not as overwhelming as our big catalog, which our big catalog is designed for our casual and avid stampers, which means they are the ones who love it, have a craft room, live for it, everything. But just, you don't have to look at these beginner stampers if you are a casual and avid. I wanted to showcase today the cute, adorable, cute fruit stamp set. When I first saw it in the catalog, I was like, that's a cute set. The more I seen done with it, I was like, I have to have it. And I'm very excited to share that with you today. So you can purchase the stamp set for $22, or you can purchase it as a part of a bundle, which you would get the stamp set, the clear block, the stamp and stamp spots, and some cardstock. And with that, you would be able to create these simple stamping cards. Simple stamping cards is designed for ink, paper, and stamp. But as a casual and avid stamper, you're the ones who love to add more layers. And today I'm going to show you a card that was created with more layers. So let's get started. Here is my card. It uses the pineapple from the cute set. It uses the tasteful texture D um, embossing folder and our new playful, I think they're called playful alphabet. So let's get started. I'm going to put that card there. I have a piece of thick white cardstock that measures five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And I have a piece of four by five and a quarter cardstock. We're going to emboss. We're using the Tasteful Texture embossing folder. We're gonna put that in. And we're going to bring over um, a die cutting machine. Right now, I'm currently using a Big Shot Stampin' Up! has not released their new die cutting machine, but it's coming. Demonstrators can start pre-ordering it in August and customers will be able to order it in September. So I'm very excited to share that new project die cutting machine with you. So let me just pull this out of the way. And we're going to bring this in. So as you can see, I have um, the white there. Now I'm just going to move my card out of the way because I don't want it. So I'm going to do... If you can notice on my card, I have done a little bit of flecking just to give my card some texture. And I'm gonna do it with a black marker. You're gonna take the brush tip and your lid and you're literally going to pull down. And as you pull down, you're getting flex spots as if you had created, took a paintbrush and splatted it across the wall. So that is what you're gonna get. I'll pull it up closer, you can see. And then we're going to get, um, bear with me, I forgot my mat. So I'm gonna grab my mat, and I'm gonna grab some white paper and my adhesive. And my dimensions. All right, good, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stamp our pineapple. I'm gonna move this out of my way. We're gonna stamp our pineapple. So our stamp set is a photo Palmer stamp set, which means it's a clear through, which is designed for two-step stamping. Is kind of what we're doing right now. We're going to put it on a clear block and we're going to stamp three pineapples. One, two, three. Then we're going to close that. I always get in the habit of closing my ink pads because knowing me, I would stick my hand in it. We're going to bring in Granny Apple Green and we're going to get the top to the pineapple. Now, if you follow me on my blog, which is WW Stamp with Ann or any social media, which is also Stamp with Ann, I have been sharing a variety of projects used with this stamp set all week. So I showed you how to make your own DSP. And today I'm going to be sharing a video with you guys on how to do that. All right, so we got that. And we are going to close that ink up. Uh, put that there. 
and we're gonna grab, okay, now look, they have little faces, so we're gonna grab a little face. With black ink, so I'm just using our black memento ink, and I'm only gonna do it on one, because the other two will be behind. So let me move that out of the way. All right, I'm gonna bring this back in. I'm Sorry, I thought I had everything with me at my counter and I don't, so I have to keep going and getting it. That's okay. All right, I'm gonna quickly cut these out. So I'm just fussy cutting them. And it's better if you stamp your tops, oops, or your tops and your pineapples together, then you're only making one cut instead of like two. Move that out of my way. As we're, I'm taping this, we're actually getting a rainstorm. We haven't had rain here in so long. Our things are so dry. So I'm hoping our power stays on while I tape this. <laughs> if not, we'll redo it over. But so far, fingers crossed that it's all good. All right, so I'm just cutting out the pineapples, as I said. And I actually just let my paper guide and barely use, move my, cut that off. I don't know um, whereabouts you are from, but here our weather has been very dry. Uh, we have not had rain in a long time. Actually, we had rain one day this week where it rained pretty good, but that was probably the first rain in about two weeks. Everything is very dry here. And here in Canada, we have humidity, so it makes it feel even hotter than what it is. I actually read something, so today is July 19th, and I read that our temperature here in Ontario with the humidity would be hotter than Sahara Desert. That is crazy. So I'm hoping this rain will cool things down, but it's a good time to stay inside and craft. So I thought, why not shoot this video so I can upload it and post to my blog later. All right, so we have all our pineapples cut out. Now we're going to bring in our paper. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay our pineapples down and we're gonna pop this one up. So we're just going to, I hope I don't run out of tape. As my tape, the thing is almost gone. All right, so I'm just gonna put these down and I'm gonna pop this guy up. Now, I'm gonna give you a tip. These are our dimensionals. I use them on everything. And here would be all your dimensionals. When you're done, use the edges. They are great dimension pieces and you can cut them as big or as little as you need them. All right. And we're gonna pop that up. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is. Isn't that not cute? All right, let's put this onto our card because we don't have much left to do after this. So I'm gonna bring my card in. Um, it's getting darker here, so hopefully we're good. All right, so as you can see, I'm gonna spring the card back in. I created some letters, um, and we're gonna use the new um, Playful Alphabet dies. If you have not looked at these dies in our catalog, they're in our annual catalog, I would suggest looking at them if you love to cut out words. Look how they come. How cute is that? And Stampin' Up! was really smart because they gave an outline so you know exactly where your pieces are to go once you're done. All right, so I'm gonna bring back in my die cutting machine. Switch out the mats. I'm going to get my black paper. All right, so I'm just gonna move this over so you can see. We're going to get the word hello. So we're gonna use H. Let's 
Sorry, find the owl. There's two owls. So some letters actually had extra um, letters, which is good. So you can cut a word out all at once. Oops. All right. It's definitely getting darker here. <laughs> all right. So I just ran it through. And I'm going to move my die cutting machine off. Bring my letters. So, oh, bring my letters up. Hold on, I'm trying to find my letters. So, H E L L there. And then I always get in the habit of make sure you put back your dies because they are little and you really don't want to lose them. So, as I said earlier, look at that, they have like a cute outline. Um, if you were a scrapbooker and loved letters, um, die cutting your words, then this would be a great set. Also, also, if you create your own like greetings on your stamps, your cards, that would be a great one too. All right. Just gonna take it back down. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab my glue and we're going to move this over and we're gonna do our letters. So. What I did was I literally laid my letters out. I'm trying to get them up here. I just kind of spaced them out so I knew exactly where they were gonna go. And then I'm just gonna lay my card flat just so it's a little easier. All right, so let's straighten them up here. They're a little finicky. Now, you can use, we do have adhesive sheets, um, which I haven't got in yet, and I just got the foam ones, but I haven't tried them out yet, so I will at another time do a video with that. Okay, so we're just gonna put our letters down. Just making sure, yep. Sometimes it's just easier to help uh, pick these up. I'm using our multi-purpose tool. Um, it helps, it's nice to help pick up little things. All right, there's my other owl. Oh, it's raining good now, which is good. We need it. Our grass and flowers need it. I don't know where the, hopefully the weather where you guys have been has been good and you guys are staying safe and healthy. All right, so there's our card. And we're just gonna use some of our in-color enamel dots. Now these were not, not on the non-orderable list, but they are once again available. So exciting that you can order those again. And we're just going to finish it off with some um, enamel dots in the um, bumblebee. So the one thing I love about Stampin' Up! is everything coordinates. So as you can see, I can go from ink to cardstock to enamel dot to embellishments to ribbon. And everything coordinates. There's no... takes the guessing out of it for you. And their quality of products is amazing. Um, if you want to learn more about Stampin' Up, you can head to my blog at www.stampwithan.com. I would love to help you out if you do not have a demonstrator here in Canada. I can ship anywhere from the West Coast to the East Coast. And if you're looking to join an amazing team, uh, we would love to have you. I have a huge, uh, great group of ladies and we are, it's amazing. They are, they're not my team. They are my family and I love them dearly. So there is our card using the Cute Fruit Stamp Set bring that back in and it says a quick hello so I'm actually going to be making some of these and sending them in the mail I just think it's a great way to brighten someone's day and who doesn't love fresh fruit in the middle of summer oh my gosh the fresh fruit this time of year is amazing so thank you so much for joining me today as I said this information for my card will be up on my blog and I'll post the measurements in the link for you and the video you can head over to my blog, which is www.stampwithann.com, where you can see I post usually four to five times a week. 
And I also post on my social media. So I have uh, Instagram, uh, YouTube, and a Facebook page and a Facebook group. So please find me. We'd love for you to join me. And if you need anything or like to order any of these products, head over to Stamp With Ann, hit the Shop Now button, and you can order these products to create this project at home. So once again, thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Have a great rest of your day, everyone. Bye.